Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today I am here to show you a customer's quilt that I quilted. I must say that the month of November and December, I haven't recorded much of my completed projects. I've been working on uh, blocks in progress, working on the Bonnie Hunter mystery, working on the Four Star Generals quilts, and uh, hopefully I'll be adding some photos of that into this video whenever it uploads. <laughs> uh, today is actually January 7th. And uh, I just wanted to show you this quilt before I give it back to my customer. So let me walk around my deck so I can show it to you. So this quilt is customer's quilt and it's actually my pattern and it will be available on my website for sale. It's not there as of today, but I do plan to put it up there for sale. On my quilt top that I made for myself, I'll also add a picture of that, I guess, in this video so you can see the difference in the quilt. I did an all over panto on mine and my customer wanted something in her triangle points for sure she just wanted something that was sweeping into the triangle so that was the main goal of this quilting on this quilt top i did handwork in the borders here one two and three all handwork i also did handwork in the string rows that's a jamie wallen spirals and then just curls wishbones and then more of jamie wallen's um curls or swirls and then here in the middle is where i did some custom quilting additional custom quilting this whole quilt is custom quilted <laughs> and uh so in the triangles we've got to swoop in go around and come back up and then out go up down round and out and back down and then in the four patch it's kind of like a wishbone design but they're sitting on top of each other like a figure eight so that's what I quilted with she requested this aqua tealish thread color which is also what she has on the back of the quilt here so just trying to let you all see some of it on the back here and uh, I did not stitch in the ditch. I figured if the customer wanted that, she could easily do that on her home machine. Um, I've worked on this quilt for since Sunday and today is Friday. And I put in quite a few hours on this quilt top. So yes, quilt is done. I'm very pleased with it. I do have like some start and stop areas you can see. But um, I don't know why I haven't figured out how to not have that happen. I don't know if my quilt's too tired or what. But it seems like every time I roll and I go back to start, it jumps even when I have the needle down. So looking for some help with that. Also, I have done a Butler video on how to do this point to point in Butler. And point to point when you have a complete block. And also, as you can see down here when you have a partial block like this triangle shape here and then you need to have part of that shape in the final triangle I do that as well in the Butler video so I'll link all of that up at the eye above I'll also give you all a link to where you can purchase this pattern if you're also interested in that um, I'm glad this is done so now I can go figure out how I'm gonna price this and uh, get it back to my customer talk to you all later Today is January 19th, and I'm actually doing an insert. I'm actually about to donate this quilt later today 
to the doctor. I finished this quilt in August and that was when I was having difficulty keeping up with doing all the recording and the things that were going on in my life <laughs> and I just realized that I never even videotaped the completed quilt so I am sure that there are many things that I have completed that I have not videotaped or taken a picture of and I know I've made probably since August at least 30 to 40 t-shirts that I have not even documented with one photo so I just wanted to come in put a quick picture up here it's not going to be able to go out on the deck but I did want to document that I finished this quote I think I started this quote in the live on July 3rd and I sold for three weeks and then I quilted it after that in September but I never got it done and then I meant to give it to the doctor for it's um I meant to give it to the doctor that I made this quilt for us for a family member or they did some services for a family member and so I meant to give this doctor this quilt and then I forgot to take it to the appointment and we had been going to this doctor like every week or every other week and then all of a sudden they said we won't see you until January and it's like oh my god so and I just didn't ever get around to taking the quilt up to the office but it's nice that we'll get to drop this off tomorrow at the doctor's appointment I mean whether well, today cuz it's like you know I don't sleep it's 4 a.m. <laughs> so it'll be uh, later today and um, we're gonna drop this off today but I just wanted to come in and show you that I did get it quilted and it's just with red thread on the back I just have uh, blue fabric here that I used on the back very small label because I don't you know I didn't want to go overboard but the um, information is done it looks beautiful I actually love this quilt hi tea quilters today is Tuesday February 1st 2022 and I am here to wrap up the January completions video for you of January 2022 and I have not recorded a whole lot. I know that I did a quilt for a customer, so that should have already been played for you guys. And I have been working on Bonner Hunter's mystery quilt. I have completed, started and completed in the month of January a Take 5 kit, and I'll show you that quilt. I've also completed in January the Scooch Over 2, and I'm going to show you that quilt. The quilt behind me is the swap block quilt from 2020 and I showed it to you where I said I needed to add just one more small border to make it get up to a queen size bed so I have done that so that's the only change here I have pulled fabric so that I can start working on making a quilt backing so that's what I'm stalling on I'm quilting this now it's ready for quilting um I can't remember what other projects I've started. I know I started one project I'm not ready to share yet. I've just been in uh, the business of buying and selling African fabric and African kits. So if you're interested in purchasing African fabric, uh, yardage, half yards, or fat quarter bundles, please contact me. Also, I do have jelly rolls as well. I'm currently out of Take 5 kits. I just did a new purchase and I am going to cut new kits for a different quilt top. Take 5 kits will be back available at some point, just not right now, not in the next two or three months. So that's where we are on the Take 5 kits. I can put you on a wait list and if I ever get some time and I cut some Take 5 kits, I will do that for you, but do note that they're not on my immediate priority list. Um, my website is www.tquilts.com. So guys, here is my uh, quilt top. And I just have these items draped over the banister. Even though this one is touching a little bit. At least I'm working on this one. But I didn't want the quilts to get wet. It looks like it's kind of damp out here. And... Um, it's about to snow we're getting a blizzard tonight and it's so funny because it's in the 50s right now <laughs> and not windy it's been windy for days so I just wanted to show you guys this um 
let me show you the fabric it's stars and i'm actually going to title this t quilt stars and so that's why I wanted to put the border on it with the stars. I originally wanted that to go in the rows where I have the black sashing. And I couldn't do that because of the blocks not being the correct size. So that's what's happening with this. It's I'm making a quilt backing and when I get that done, I will be loading this onto my long arm. So here we're looking at scooch over two by Maple Island Quilt. That is the name of the quilt pattern. And I really enjoyed this quilt. I did this quilt in December as a sew along with you all on my Saturday night chats. So I got it finished and wanted to just come show you a full picture of it almost because I do have a row of blocks hanging over on the other side. <laughs> so let me take you up and show you the quilting. Um, of course, I'm not going to remember this quilting pattern name. I want to say it's Bobbles or Bubbles, but I'll make sure and try to remember to put it up on the screen. I wanted something that was geometric, but not too densely quilted since these are very large blocks. And I felt like this really did it for me. I used gold thread. On the backing, I just used a 108, nothing fancy. It had some geometric design in there as well. So I decided that that would be appropriate. And as you can see here, I put my binding on by machine. I just put it onto the front on my long arm and then I turn it to the back with an iron. I press it to the back and then I just stitch in the ditch here. And then I just stitch in the ditch here to get it to put that stitching on the back side but you hardly see it on the front and of course you always have to have a label and i'm calling this one eye on africa scooch over to <laughs> so very nice and uh just glad that i was able to do something on saturday that was a quick project all right guys <laughs> this one has been the workhorse for me. I started this January 19th and actually finished it yesterday, January 31st. So, yeah, I the reason why it was a workhorse is because when you're videotaping particular segments of things, you're starting and stopping all the time. And so it took me way longer than it should have to make this quilt top. I, again, want to point out that I'm going to add some other pictures of the Take 5 from Francis Jackson who uploaded to Facebook as well as Kevin the Quilter's quilt. I'm going to add in to this video as well. This is what I was saying about a utilitarian style quilt where you just put everything together and it still turns into a beautiful piece of art because of all of the prints uh, going together and because I used many prints not just five prints that are traditional in a take five quilt and then I also added technically four borders I've got a three-piece border made in purple for some reason when I got through making this quilt top I saw a lot of purple for me so I decided to use purple as my grounding color it needed something in between the borders and then use the scraps um, from cutting when I made all of the take five kits I use scraps to make the string border. My quilting pattern on this is herringbone, which is a template that I normally use for uh, t-shirt quilts. But since this was more of a utilitarian style quilt, I felt like this herringbone would blend in as well as give it some texture where it needed. So you can barely see it in the piecing, which is what I wanted. And you see more of it actually in the solid prints. I mitered the corners on this. That's going to be in the border video, which I haven't uploaded yet. Uh, but hopefully I'll get that done before this video goes up. As you all know, I'm doing late uploads on videos. On the back, I'm gonna have to go up and turn this quilt to the back to show you the back because I did piece the back. Here is
is the back of my quilt top. I actually used a print that I ordered, one of my new prints I got in, ordered it for the back. Kevin and I both, it was Kevin's idea because I normally don't care about the backs of my quilts. <laughs> so I ordered some extra fabric so we could have it for the back of our quilt top. So measuring my quilt top, I was going to be short, approximately 18 inches, which is the size of these scooch over two blocks. And so I decided to use the leftover scooch over two blocks on the back of my take five quilt and I was just a little bit short at the bottom so then when I mitered my corners I had these strings left so that is at the top and the bottom of the quilt those strings and then everything below it is at the other top of the quilt too the black and white extra piece I mean the brown and white extra pieces the strings and that piece of blue with brown so let's go over here I also have a label and I have titled my quilt African Royal Shuffle so all I have to do now is just hand sew the two sides of the label down but technically it has a label it's on the quilt <laughs> so I am done so uh, that's going to finish this video. I will see you all in my next one. Take care, everybody.